wondering, well, should I sell any unwanted gold I have? Maybe it's broken gold, you can't sell any other way. Will you get enough money? Is it safe? I know. All those questions it's hopefully quite we'll tempting. get through. A lot of people yeah. are saying it's yeah. quite tempting yeah. when you see them. Absolutely. So, so what do we need to know? Well, I suppose the first thing is, you know, why is there a proliferation of these yeah. gold selling companies now? I mean, the, 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 the cost of gold, the value of gold has gone through the roof, if you like. So if you think back in 2000, okay, for um, gold, one ounce of gold was $250. Right. Um, now? And now it's up above 1000 Yeah, incredible. up above $1,000. So it's, you know, it's a huge... And is that since the crash, since everything went down, yeah, just because it's well, a... Gold has kept its own, and over the past couple incredible? of years, you know, gold has been going up and up. Over the past number of years, I should say, and experts say, it's still going. So you've got the price of gold going up, and then you've got people all over the world, not just here, who are feeling the pinch and want more money. So when you bring the two together, what you get, you get loads of companies rush. selling gold. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through the three methods, because I know, you, I know you've brought in some postal methods, and I, we've heard about the gold party, we even... Did a gold party? Yes, here on the yes, show. you did. Yeah. So, I mean, the most common one probably is a post. Then you've got gold parties. You can visit some premises as well. Go to a shop. So a exactly. Shop. Okay. So if you start with the post, I mean, typically what happens, um, you get something like this in the post. Right. You will um, request by e by through the website or else by telephone, and you'll get a form that you have to fill in with your name and address, um, and uh, permit to say that you have to tick a box to say you're over 18 and you've permission to sell the gold. Very important. It's not stolen and then you'll have to put it in a jiffy bag like this okay um, and then um, after that in one of these other bags okay okay and, and then you just post it off and then you it's post it off now this one is very nice off your gold yeah this one is nice because you get a small little little <laughs> little bag to put in your other bag your expectations um, are low Tina <laughs> no well that's the only one we got now that has that other otherwise you just put them straight in okay. here so that's just a little bit more protective but what you have to look out for is you what you don't want is a is a envelope that's covered in gold logos in the name of the company because that's just too tempting we actually saw one there I don't know where it is there was yes, one and it had the name of the company on it so you yeah we did the post I'm not crazy is. about this one you see here because this is the envelope you get now the others you put it in a, the others we have at least here you put it in the jiffy bag and then in another bag but this one you actually send this it's just because it says the name on the envelope so somebody knows there's gold well you in know the there's gold inside yeah. you know um but so that's just be careful system. of that probably put it into something else be careful of that and also you'll notice on that envelope and on the others as well that there was a registered they were registered now that's important because you do want the envelope to be registered um, I spoke to Unpost and they told me that they had prepay registered arrangements with some of the companies, but not with all. So you want okay. to make sure whoever you go with, it's a registered package. And remember that when your post is registered, okay, Unpost un un insure it for up to 320 euros. But, and there's the but with capital B-U-T, only if you write the value of the content on the envelope. If you don't write the value of the contents on the envelope with an insured, uh, a registered Zero. envelope, it's 25 euro 25 and something euro. cent. Okay. Okay. So make sure it's a Good registered point. envelope and you write the value on the envelope as well. And, so that's and the tips make sure the name is not the, on the envelope. Okay, gold parties. Tell me about yeah. them and any pitfalls that you have with them. Well, gold parties um, are where someone, an agent belonging to one of these gold buying companies will come to your house or it could be friends, or it could be colleagues, whatever, um, and they will bring their little scales with them and their checkbook you invite all your friends or colleagues who have some gold to sell um, and, and and that's what they do you know that's what they do they'll buy your gold from you there and then um, so it's just another it's another way of doing it you the party host will get a commission along with of course the the agent from the company okay. um, and it's the new Tupperware party. It's a new Tupperware <laughs> party, it is. I mean, the, the thing, I suppose, there is that you get, you, you bring your gold with you and you get a quote there and then. With the postal system, you send off your gold in the packages that we've seen. Right. And then you get a call when they receive it to say, oh, we've, uh, we've looked at your gold, we've weighed it and so on. Okay. Um, and you, we're going to offer you X amount and you can uh, accept or reject it. And it's important, actually, to choose a company that does telephone you to tell you that rather than those companies that send you a check straight away and then you have to say, che send the check back. Because I have seen some terms and conditions from some companies yeah. where they say, oh, once, if you have to send the check back, you have so many days 
from the date of the check, not from the day you receive it, you oh, know, and it's just too tough. Important. Yeah, yeah, it's too tough. So check things like that. The best ones, I think, are companies that will ring you first and say, okay. I'll give you whatever. A quote and over then the you phone. can accept it or reject it. And if that you don't like it, sense. you've no check to send back within so many days. Yeah. They just have to send back your gold. So That's look out for advice. things like that as well. Okay, in terms of the price of gold, because there's, there's a few things when you have your gold. If you bought, if, if it's a brand name, Hmm. You know, they're not going to pay for the value of the brand names, uh, they yeah. just want the hard gold. Yeah, well now this is what everyone has to get straight because uh, wh when you're selling your, your, your gold for cash, you're talking about the intrinsic gold value of the thing, okay? Not the fact that it's some amazing brand or not the fact that it's a necklace that has a beautiful craftsmanship, right. you know, work on it. Because they're going to melt it down. Yeah, it's being melted down for the gold content. So firstly, um, you're going to be getting between about 55 to 65, 70% even of the actual gold value on the inter the gold uh, um, the value of the value actual on gold the international itself. market. Okay. Yeah. So you're not going to be getting the value as gold is trading today, you'll be getting a percentage of that up to, let's say, 55, 60%. And um, secondly, um, it's going to bear absolutely no relation to what you paid for the item. Because when you buy something in a store, the markup is about 200, 300% yeah. on the gold value. Okay? okay, so we're only talking about gold value. You're not talking about some brand. It doesn't matter if you bought it at Tiffany's. Yeah, so it if you do matter. have something okay. that's a, a covetable brand and it's in great condition, maybe the gold content mightn't even be that high. You know, you could have spent 200 <gasps> euro on something and the gold content might only be worth 15 euro. It would be euro. so disappointing. But, but you could sell it another way then if you want to sell it as a finished piece. Remember, this is just for the gold, okay. the intrinsic gold value of something, not for anything else. So it's ideally what you want is a really high carat Go heavy gold item. <laughs> That's where you're going to no do labels <laughs> on it whatsoever. <laughs> Tina, thank you very much for that. This is the, sort of the overview of the gold and the gold yeah. parties. We'll have our advice on the website as always, Airtel page. And we've some sample prices there for today. We'll, as we'll bring those in later because Tina's going to stay with us. You can put any questions in there. If you want to know what a sample price is, if you want to know what's happening, if you want to know if they're good or bad, or if you have any example of something that's happened to you, or question four, you can text afternoon, follow, followed by your message to five. Three, five, five.